Today we will be talking about some of the ways scientists are developing to diagnose people with schizophrenia that are coming through the pipeline uh, in the scientific literature. Keep in mind that doctors uh, currently diagnose patients with schizophrenia with about 82% accuracy and that's largely based on a diagnostic interview that they, that they do. So let's get started with um, the new developments and let's get started with number one. The most promising test in development, I think, is an eye tracking test developed in the United States that, that is cheap and effective. A 10 minute test can diagnose someone with schizophrenia with 98% accuracy. This should be enormously beneficial to the schizophrenic community and it should get rid of uh, misdiagnoses. Another test that has been shown to be extremely uh, promising is a test of the coherence of speech. Uh, they, a Nature article demonstrated that you can interview someone for an hour, you can measure the coherence of their speech, you can diagnose them with 100% accuracy, which is much better than a, a doctor's diagnostic interview. Or if you do just a 10 minute interview, you can diagnose, diagnose them with 86% accuracy, which is still more accurate than a doctor can currently diagnose people. It's basically using what the doctors do, but uh, using a computer to do the analysis that's been shown to be more effective. Measuring the microbiome is another way. Uh, uh, schizophrenics have 400 times the level of lactic acid bacteria in the gut and the throat. You can do a throat swab, measure the bacteria. They have less diversity of bacteria in the gut, but they have more diversity of bacteria in the blood. And there's three studies linked uh, in the description. The next two are uh, related to an MRI. Uh, you can do an MRI analysis of the blood flow in a brain and diagnose someone with 74% accuracy. Another test you can do is an MRI analysis of the brain and measure the amount of oxidative stress. This can also measure and uh, diagnose you with schizophrenia, though both are less accurate than the other tests I've mentioned. Another test you can do is measuring arginine vasopressin in the bloodstream after administering a saline solution. This can measure uh, the NMDA receptor in your brain, which is linked to schizophrenia. If it, that receptor is impaired uh, or uh, causing static, uh, this can lead to and cause the presentation of schizophrenia in people. I do not know how accurate this test is, but it is a blood test for schizophrenia. If you can do some kind of test to measure the consistency of someone's internal clock, because schizophrenic's internal clock does not tick uh, second by second as accurately as someone without schizophrenia, so you can measure if the consistency of someone's time perception and potentially diagnose someone with schizophrenia. This is another eye test. You can measure the retina electric activity by placing an electrode just below the eye. You can flash a light into the eye and measure the electrical response. Schizophrenics have a lower response than non-schizophrenics, and this difference is larger uh, with larger stimuli. People with schizophrenia have several IQ deficits. One deficit in the brain is memory. This memory deficit is apparent from youth, and you could do a test on young people before schizophrenia presents to see if their memory is impaired and potentially diagnose them with schizophrenia, or, or at least uh, uh, demonstrate that they're at a greater risk of developing schizophrenia. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, all the links for everything I've talked about are in the description of this video. Please don't hesitate to check them out for yourself. 
And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.